Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Shall we be on our feet? Amen. Amen. I want us to bow before Jesus as I take this worship. Our Father in heaven, we glorify your name. We bow down before you, our Jesus in heaven. We glorify you. Make sure you are bowing before him. We bow down before you, our Father in heaven. We glorify your name. We bow down before you. Is it hard for you to bow? The 24 elders, what do they do? They don't bow, they prostrate. With their robe and crown, they prostrate. Are we up to them now? No. You have to show that you are buying before a king. Don't you see the Yoruba tribe? When they are before, you understand me? Show the king you are bowing. And not bringing your head down. I see if we are talking about one earthly king. We are talking of the creator, the king of glory. The lord of hosts. The I am that I am. The first and the last. Jehovah is his name. That's the one we are talking about. Our father in heaven. I glorify your name. I bow down before you. Our Father in heaven, we glorify your holy name. We bow down before one more time. Our Father. In heaven, we glorify your name. We bow down before you. Let the king know you honor him. People who serve Satan, if you ask them, you, their obedience to Satan, you'll be wondering what, who is Satan that they are giving him obedience like this. When you are before this king, show you are before this king of glory. In the name of Jesus. Who are thou? You the devil. We cast you down. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus name. Who are thou? You the devil. We cast you down. In the name of Jesus, Jesus' name, who are thou, you the devil, we cast you down. In the name of, in Jesus' name, who are thou, you the devil, we cast you down. In the name of in Jesus' name, who are thou, you the witches, we cast you down. In the name of in Jesus' name, who are thou, you the demons, we cast you down. In the name of in Jesus' name, who are thou, you the witches, we cast you down. In the name of in Jesus' name, who are thou, you the devil, we cast you down. In the name of Jesus, amen. Let's pray, Father, in the name of Jesus. We exalt and bless your name this morning. Holy Spirit divine, this is your hour. You are the one that speaks to us always. Speak to us again. 
Open our eyes of understanding to understand your word. May we understand it and receive it in our hearts. So that we may apply, apply it on our daily living in Jesus' name. May we not understand your word in head knowledge. It is never good in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, I plead your blood in your word this morning. I plead your blood on the hearers this morning. I plead your blood on I, the speaker, this morning. This morning, my voice shall not be heard, but the blood voice shall be heard. This morning, I will not be seen, but the cross shall be seen. To the glory of your name. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. You may be seated, my brethren. We really appreciate God what is in. And we know very well that any power that have contented this state within these four days has been rooted out already in Jesus' name. Amen. And if anybody is still remaining in darkness of witchcraft, wizardry, or whatever, let that person run before judgment will come upon him or her. Are you hearing? Enough is enough. If you're a witch, come out and repent. If you're a wizard, do the same thing. If you're a leader whose life is not right, do the same thing. It doesn't please our God for any soul to perish. But let also come to what? And then how will you be in this house? You don't want to repent. Maybe last night you have gone to a meeting somewhere and deceiving yourself. We are in club this morning. You want to die? Look at yesterday, Mommy Linda was ministering talking about abortion. There was something he mentioned. I was struck. I shed tears. When he was talking about the instruments physical doctor use in abortion. Are you hearing? And you're an abortionist. Same instruments will be used in hell on you. So when mommy was saying that, I had an understanding that when these instruments are being used on abortion on these children in the womb, the children cry, but we don't hear their voice. Are you hearing? We don't hear their voice. So also, as people in hell, let it be a womb, as they are crying, we cannot hear them also. But by mercy, the Lord took his daughter to make us hear the voice and cry from her. Don't take it's a joke. Don't think. We have been hearing her look at since 2013. The way she's crying yesterday, I see the, mat, the, beast, the thing happened yesterday. If it's a phone, a phone, will she be crying for 13 years? Eh? I'm saying this because majority here are members of Horemon. We have been watching this crying now and then. December conference is coming. If she's talk about hell, you'll find her mother in the law crying again. Are you hearing me? That cry is a witness to whoever in Horemon that will miss heaven and end in hell. That cry is a witness against us. I want us to be careful. Whatever evil you know or darkness you know, stop. That cry every day is a witness against us. For 11 years, for 11 years, You'll be laughing with mommy, talking with mommy. If the message of hell starts, she's another person. Are you hearing? <laughs> May we be wise. May we be wise. This morning, we are looking at the Lord's word on us with the topic, serving God with secret sin. Because this is where we have problem. Secret sin. The sin that is not known to me and you. Are you hearing me? Maybe as I'm alone in my hotel room since I come in, maybe when we close in the day, I might drink beer nobody will know. Do you know that? Before morning, the other will come out, you brush your mouth. Secret sin. That sin that is not known to people. That sin only God knows. Though the person performing the sin knows that he or she is a sinner. Secret sin. And in this secret sin, it's much on leadership. And that's why you see that in many leadership, 
the learned are always stumbling because once this head is rotten, the entire body smells. You understand? You might be binding and praying. The, that leader might be accusing followers, but the problem is from him. You understand? The problem is from him. Just like Pastor Doka was exhorting us yesterday. Although that was on use, uh, come and you are canceling, and that thing took place. Nobody know. And with that secret sin in that leader, whatever that leader is doing in that state, in that chapter, in that region, in that unit, will know you through full result. Are you hearing? Whatever that leader is doing. Because the leader is doing what he's doing in sin, unknown to the members. To you, daddy, daddy, pastor, pastor. But pastor knows. Amen. Ezekiel chapter 8. I'm going to read, we have a long reading. We're going to read from verse number 3. Although go reading and pausing. Ezekiel chapter 8. And he put forth the form of an hand and took me by a lock of my head. And the spirit lifted me up between the earth and heaven and brought me in the vision of God to Jerusalem, to the door of the inner gate that looked towards the north. Where was the seat of the image of jealousy which provoked unto jealousy? We know this when Ezekiel, when they were in captivity, and things has gone out of hand by leaders. It was still leaders sin that brought captivity. Because when the leaders fell to do what God, God wanted them to do, the led followed them and everything became corrupted. And on this day, God came and took Ezekiel. He wore one string of, of hair. Only God can do that. One string of the hair of Ezekiel. And brought Ezekiel to Jerusalem. Verse 4. And behold, the glory of the God of Israel was there. According to the vision that I saw in the plain. Just like we know. Which we testify. Even as the person that led prayer this morning was leading. That in holiness revival movement. The glory of the Lord is present ever with us. Are you hearing? It's ever with us. That's why this ministry is unique. That's why the things that are happening are happening. That's why visions and revelations are are very awesome in this ministry. Although, when vision and revelation is upon a member, the member, it is God that is speaking. Do you know that? But when vision and revelation is upon a leader, maybe God is no longer the one. I'm watching this. I am a leader. By the grace of God. Not only me. When God speaks about them, I will say, this is God. And when God speaks about me and my family, I'm no longer, this is no longer God. Leadership. We will not be defining revelation. I thank God, whether man will believe or not, God is a God of what? Revelation. And he has been speaking to us in this ministry in diverse ways. Whether you will take it or leave it, it doesn't remove anything from God. It doesn't. Verse 5. Then said he unto me, Son of man, lift up thy eyes now the way towards the north. So I lifted up my eyes the way towards the north. And behold, not what? At the gate of the altar, this image of jealousy in the entry. What brought this image to the house of God? A place where the glory of God is. And then the image of jealousy that provoke unto jealousy is at the entrance. That means God and Satan is now side by side. Verse 6. He said for that unto me, son of man, see thou what they do. Even the great abomination that the house of Israel commit, committed here, that I should go far from my sanctuary. 
But try thee yet again, and thou shalt see greater abomination. You see what leaders are doing? Let God lead. And if not the stand, the conviction of our Father in the Lord, all the more will have been in this state. This is the state all the denominations are in. Know that our father and they lost to this ground. Hold them all will have been like this. Let God live. Let's do this ourselves. See, tomorrow is not today. For the past how many years we have seen leaders that came up that when they start at the pulpit of this ministry, you feel that God has gotten somebody. Is it not so? When they preach, you, be, you marvel. When they cancel you, you marvel. But suddenly, you'll be shocked what is going on in leadership. And that's why the lead are stumbling. Because some lead will be, if leaders are doing this, what do you expect us? You understand? They want God to go far away from his house. Amen. Seven. And he brought me to the door of the court. And when I looked, behold, a hole in the wall. Like sin. If you are among those that doubt revelation, when you are involved, I am sorry for you. Without God, how would this visionaire know there is a hole in this? Look at this hole now. Can you see any hole? But if there is, God is aware. Is it not? And I know people have been coming into the sanctuary. To worship God. You understand? And go. They never saw a hole. Ezekiel never knew there was a hole in the sanctuary. If not God. Just as you don't know what your leader is doing in the secret. But God is aware. But hey, then said he unto me, Son of man, dig now. In the wall, and when I had digged, behold, a door. How could a hole become a door? If not God, can Ezekiel identify this hole? No. But thank God for His Spirit upon His servants, as we have seen in our ministry, that the Spirit of the Lord is high upon His servant, our Father in the Lord. And the spirit of this gift of revelation is also high upon our mother and the Lord. Amen. Yeah. Because there are some revelation you hear you never. It will be as if <laughs> when that act is being performed, she was there with you. It was high on her. And these are one of the things the Lord is using to keep this ministry going. Telling us. Verse 9. And he said unto me, Go in and behold the wicked abomination that they do here. Who are these people? Leaders. No small person. No. They are not members, they are leaders. Those who take decisions. Those who come and report how things are going. Those who come and say how it is. They are the people inside this door that is open. Verse 10. So I went in and saw and behold every form of creeping beast and abominable beast. Creeping things and abominable beast. And all the idols of the house of Israel portrayed upon the wall round about. Ah! Inside Satan worship is going on. Outside the worship of God is going on. Is it not so? But only leaders are aware. <laughs> you don't know. You might think that that is where the whole meeting. They have finished. Church has closed. They say they have meeting. You don't know they have entered into another service. The one for Satan. They will bow themselves down to this. To Satan and many things. You don't know. You will be rejoicing who have finished service. And the leaders have begun another worship. Unknown to the few. Amen. Eleven. Okay, ten. Now let me finish. Eleven. And there stood before them seventy men 
of the actions of the house of Israel. And in the midst of them stood Jezaniah, the son of Shaphan, with every man his censer in his hand, and a thick cloud of his sense went up. Another secret going on. They have come and finished the worship. They have pulled the robe they used to worship God. Put on the robe of Satan. We thought they are going for a meeting. They have gone inside. Leaders. I'm not talking of members. Leaders. The state of the church in Nigeria today was caused by what? Leaders. Somebody sent something to my post yesterday and his discussion with that man is that the problem of the nation, Nigeria, is not politician, is the church. And the problem of the church is not the church, but leaders. Are you hearing? The problem of the church is leadership. They always look for a way to please themselves, to get what they want. You don't know. And if per adventure, the Lord, as he did to Ezekiel, open your eye, and you don't have strong defense, they will kick you out of the house of God. That's what leaders are doing. They don't want anybody to know that they are not following God. In their physical body, they are following God. In their heart, they are not following God. Just like Luke, Matthew 6, 24, from 19, 24, talked about that you cannot serve God and mammon. You can't serve two masters. Is it not so? But leader, many leaders are serving two masters. When a leader in the daytime as we are in church portray Christ and when he's alone, he's living under life, is he not serving two masters? Is he not? Then many leaders I don't, a woman, a child as I am, the day I was born I was not born with two women I was born from a, one woman is it not so? One woman, not two women if a, a woman gave birth to me and I was not given birth to, by two women why are leaders serving two masters? they are child of God they are servant of the devil why are leaders serving two masters? You will give instruction. Leaders will not follow. They will do their own. Because as you give them the instruction from the throne of God, the other master will bring his own instruction. They follow. They always find the instruction of Satan palatable for them and not that of God. Are you hearing? And not that of God. Leaders! They will tell you, I remember a brother was telling us how some years ago a leader would declare fasting and would tell people how he fasts until one day uh, they have three days fasting as the fasting was going on and the brother who was in town entered somewhere and see the leader in a book eating. Are you hearing so? <laughs> Leadership! Leaders know what I'm saying about Many are in secret life. Many at home, you wonder if this is a leader. The way they live in their homes with their wives. Especially those whose wives are not even born again. Especially leaders whose husbands are not born again. Yet when they come out, they pretend that all is well. Are you hearing me? I remember some months ago, a leader called me, Pastor, I have a prayer group. I would like to join the prayer group. I laughed. I said, you don't know, Pastor Sam. I laughed. I laughed. Before I know it, the same leader came and said, the way you see me dress is not the way I'm inside. I watch pornography every day. Are you, you see who is inviting me for prayer to join his prayer group or her prayer group? Are you hearing? Leadership. After watching pornography and all that dirty things, dress needs to come again. You pull, oh, welcome, ma. Welcome, sir. <laughs> 
the leader's secret sin is why the church is decaying. The decaying of the church is caused by the sinful life, secret sinful life of leaders. Because if all leaders are living the life expected, I am telling you, where will Satan come in? You understand? Where will Satan come in? He will not have a place to come in. But the leader's sinful secret life have done harm to the body of Christ. Let's go back to the scripture. I think verse 12 now. Then said he unto me, son of man, has thou seen what the ancient of the house of Israel do in the dark? Every man in the chamber of his imagery. For they say the Lord sees us not. The Lord has forsaken the earth. They in the dark in secret. I'm speaking about the life in the secret. The life behind the wall. The life behind where nobody knows where you are. You might travel on business trip and another thing is going on. You are doing your business and doing another secret. Even in that business, is that leader faithful? Does he do his business faithfully? And the issue of many things we are talking about is the leadership that is causing the problem of the church, I repeat, is leadership. Even in a movement, or more. When a leader stumbles, you see that people follow the leader. Why? Because of their secret life, they tell these people a different story. You understand? And when God exposed them, they will still let the people believe that it is not God. They take those there. It's a pity that you must be very careful. Don't follow any leader to, your, to hell. Don't. But respect them, honor them. They will give account. Because you don't know who is who. You understand? But he asked God, who am I following? Who is my leader? So that you don't blindly go to hell and regret. We know the stories that is in the churches today. Leaders being in all court is no longer a new thing. Leaders being in witchcraft is no longer a new thing. Leaders going to the sea to bow before marine. Are you hearing so? It's no look at as I was admonishing the powers, the authority in the name of Jesus. Yet leaders, not members. And you will not know that this miracle, this act my leader is displaying is not from God. He knows. And when he finish with you people, he goes to bow down again and Satan will tell him what to do. He takes the word of Satan and not what the scripture says. Leadership. If leaders are correct, I am telling you, the church will not have problem. Both this division is caused by leaders because of their personal gain. Are you hearing me? Because of their personal gain. And you don't know this gain. They are politicians. Let me just chip in this. I remember when I was in the world, my, then my conversion, uh, my, one of my details told me, sir, <laughs> you are not a Christian. Sir, so so ye PFM election. I was among the officers sent to cover, yeah, to give protection. Sir, they are worse than politicians. Are you hearing? An unbeliever, policeman, Mopo telling me, say, we're hearing now that I'm a Christian. Say, sir, <laughs> these people you are joining. You understand so? They are worse than politicians. Leaders. They say a different thing in the morning, another in the afternoon, another in the evening. Leaders speak with both sides of their mouth. We, that's another thing that fears me about leadership. It makes me, if, one, if not that when God calls you, he has called you, I will have object, I will have suggested to leave leadership so I can take care of my soul. 
for leadership have disappointed God. Let the head pastor that was saying, say, was Judas Iscariot not a leader? Was he not? Was he not a leader? If for adventure, there are groups given unto Judas for him to lead in ministry. How would that group end? Would that end well? He would drive, he would cry, he would, he would he, accident the vehicle that no life will come out. Is it not? He will accident the vehicle and all will perish. So be very careful, your leader. Don't abuse them so that you don't become a, a shepherd in their sin. We are always admonish, which is we pray for them to succeed. But ask God to help you to know who you are following. So that he will not give you a cancer that will rob you. You understand? Many of them, their cancers are horrible. Many stumbling today, the lead was cancer of leaders. Be very careful. Let's go back to the scripture. Verse 13. He said also unto me, Turn ye yet again, and thou shalt see greater abomination they do. Who are all these? Leaders. No members. Oh. Members close church and rejoice or close meeting and go home. Is the leaders that stay behind. Is it not? But you don't know that. The way that appear before you is not who they are inside. Inside, they are ravenous wolves. Leaders. Ravenous wolves. That's why some, when God wants to begin to <laughs> expose them, you'll be discovering that why is my leader an angry man? Are you hearing so? Why is my leader an angry man? Why is my leader this? God is making you to know that you have been following that man, that woman for long and you don't know who he is. I'm bringing this up for you to begin to ask yourself where have this man or woman led me to that I'm not clean again? Amen. Verse 14. Then he brought me to the door of the gate of the Lord's house, which was towards the north, and behold, there are sat women weeping for Tammuz, women leaders. Women are not left out. Oh. Are you hearing me? They are involved. Oh. I don't know who are leaders in Horemo. Eh? Even these women are even more in the witchcraft than the men. Do you know that? <laughs> they are more than the men. And with leadership, woman coordinator, woman overseer, woman GO, woman GS, he's initi she's initiating everybody. <laughs> Keep everybody in line. Are you hearing so? Uh, today, if I, uh, initiating, initiating. Leader! Weeping for Tammuz. And this is maybe all women leaders that tomorrow we are having fasting and prayer. And you will come for fasting and prayer. You come for another thing. If you are young and very stubborn, to them they feel you are stubborn, they might bring you in and damn your soul. Women also. See the men, where the men are doing their own. In a dark place. The women, the women sat and weeping for Tammuz. Leadership. The men are there. The women are here. The youths are here. It's going on every day. Secret sin. Serving God. It's like, is God, does God not hear prayer again? You understand? Does God not answer prayer? How will he hear? When the man standing with the microphone leading the prayer, even in his heart, has offered a sacrifice in the secret this morning to Satan. Serving two masters side by side. Leaders. Respect them, but be very careful. Are you hearing me? They always like to sit at the high side so that people will always know them as leaders. Amen. Verse 15. Then said he unto me, Has thou seen this, O son of man? 
Turn ye yet again, and thou shalt see greater abomination than this. And he brought me into the inner court of the Lord's house. And behold, at the door of the temple of the Lord's Lord, between the porch and the altar, we are about five and twenty men with their back towards God. Because the temple is God's temple, is it not? As their back is towards the temple, is it not towards God? They back God and face the sun. So both the men, the young men, the women, everybody in leadership is in this evil. That's why you're surprised when a young man is promoted into high leadership position, he's still like people that were there before. No difference. Do you know that? No difference. Leadership. I repeat, if not the stand of the international director, Hore Mo wouldn't have stand here today. By the grace of God, since I came into this ministry and my conversion, I've been in leadership. So I know what I'm talking about. Are you hearing me? I know what I'm speaking about. The problem of the church, the problem of Horemo is leadership. Not our father in the Lord, not our mother in the Lord, but you know what I mean by leadership. That is the problem. They are the ones that will say, leave this issue of witchcraft. Because they are part of it. Leave the issue of wizardry because they are part of it. Why are you talking about occult? Because they are part of it. Because it is what you are part of. It's been talked about. You'll be defending, pretending as if you'll be saying in a way, let it not be a, they will know I'm there. Leadership. We can't count people, simple people, innocent members that led this movement because leaders stumbled and carry those they want to carry away. Do you know that? I'm sorry for those souls. Because they don't know the man they are following. They don't know who they followed. Leaders! After preaching, they will see the thing is not as they are saying it. Oh, don't kill yourself. Are you hearing? You have time to pay. You have your time to pay. They will say, divide it into two. Pay it here. Do like this. They might give an account number that is, you don't know about. You joyfully say you are paying your tithe. Are you hearing me? You don't know you are paying into a leader. But the leader know. I said there are many things. Many things. Policy will come out from the international headquarters. Yes sir, yes sir. Hey, we are together. When they live there, Everybody will do his own. Causing the lead to stumble. I'm saying this because I've been a leader in this ministry. I know what it took me when the worship activity we are using now that was released on 24th March last year came out. You understand? Everything on how to Run this ministry was highlighted there. But leaders know they have their own way. I took permission from daddy and went to some states. I said in this area, we're not doing it like that. In this area, we're not doing it like that. Here, but as look at the policy of the ministry. Were you not aware? Some will give reasons you will hear say it's very congent. That reason that looks congent before you. Is it like that before God? Leaders. They always look for where satisfy them. And if per adventure somebody is always talking about ah, sir, the way you do things you become a problem. They can cook up things upon you. Using their position as leaders to, to see that you don't come out of that problem. Many leaders Many leaders have lost their test. Do you know that? Many have lost their test because of the cancer they gave to people. 
Thank God, about two weeks ago, International Bible Study, Daddy said, when you ask questions, don't ask only one person. No. Are you hearing? Look for a second person. When you go for a counseling, don't rely only on that leader. Oh. Go to a second leader, even to the third. If the words are the same, okay. You understand? Because they will tell you. And you run with it. You don't know that your game is thin. You will run with it. You don't know that your government is one stand. Many leaders, children, are not members of Horemo. Do you know? Many leaders. When dad is coming to their state or going for a conference, they model things up as if God is not aware. There are leaders in this ministry today, even although they have big children, uh, men and women are their children. We don't know who their children, their, their family is. But they want you to know, uh, why are you dressing your child, their son like this? How is your own children dressing? Nobody know them. Yes. Nobody know them! Tomorrow they might bring the seven-man committee. Uh, the way his children or her children is behaving. But all of your own children. They pamper them. They cover them up. As if God is not aware. Leaders have caused the church of Jesus Christ to be in the state which it is today. Leadership. But I thank God our Father in the Lord stand for righteousness and holiness. No corrupt leader will have it his way more in Jesus' name. Amen. If I'm corrupt, I will never have my way. Are you hearing? If my wife is corrupt, she will never have her way. If I'm a pretender, I will never succeed. If my wife is a pretender, she will never succeed. And any leader in Horemon is a pretender. The light of God will expose your pretense. Yeah. And people will see who you are in the name of Jesus. Yeah. You better stop secret life. There's no gain in it. The Lord said, what I speak in the secret, publish in the house town. Is it not? Why are you not allowing people to publish your secret life in the house town? Why what you tell them in the closet is not what you are? When you preach, people will shed tears. Angels might even, angels, it's like an angel is speaking. But your life disdains God. Your life, secret life. I keep saying this. The secret life of the belief of a leader affects the members. Because you want, you will be surprised that members will not be living a committed life. Because leader does not live a committed life. If a leader is not a praying leader, I'm not talking of the prayer that when we come here, everybody is shaking himself. You understand? Fine. So that nobody will say, I don't know how to pray. Nobody will say he's not a praying leader. But in your closet leader, do you pray? Because a praying leader will always pray his way through. We always lead the people he's leading in prayer before God. You understand? That's a praying leader. But when the leader does not pray, the people, people is leading will be cold also. Whatever a state of the church of Jesus Christ is, is caused by the leadership. The ministry of Jesus Christ prospered because Christ as a leader does, did not live double life. Is it not so? The ministry of Paul prospered because Paul they made his life plain before there was his leading. He has no secret thing. But the secrecy of leaders are terrible. Amen. And I want you to be very careful, my brethren, in following leadership. Second Corinthians. I'm reading 11. Second Corinthians 11. Be very watchful 
Uh, let me read verse 3. Okay, let me read 2 and 3. For I am jealous over you with godly jealousy. For I have exposed you to one husband. This is a true leader. A true leader exposes who is leading to one husband. And who is that husband? Jesus Christ. That I may present you as a chest virgin to Christ. A true leader desire is to see that even as our father in the Lord is to see that all of us under him appear before Christ as chest virgins. Look at verse 3. But I fear lest by any means as a serpent begin live through his subtlety. If you have a subtlety leader you are finished. Are you ready? He will ask you to run. As you are running, he will throw something here. He will say, go and check here. He will scatter your life with his subtlety. Unknown to you. He will make your life never to be gathered together. If you come to him and complain of brother B or sister C, he will now make you know that he has been discovering that that brother that sister is bad. You understand? He will make sure if you come with bitter, if you come with anger, you will go with bitterness. <laughs> Are you leaders? Instead of him to see that the anger you come with is dropped before the feet of Christ. You go with bitterness. Because he'll make you know the one you don't know. About that brother, about that sister. Leadership. Many favor those who they feel does good about them. Many favor those who they feel give them gift. Leaders. As if that they are doing is open, is hidden, as is hidden before men. You see, when these 70 men always go here for their satanic worship, the members were not aware. Was God not aware? Huh? Because God is aware and God felt that enough of this wickedness and abomination. Ezekiel, see what is going on. And if Ezekiel come out to speak about the revelation of God on leaders, they might plan about they might plan his life for, to eliminate him. That's how many leaders are. We saw it even in our nation, Nigeria, when God speak about to some pastors the level they take. I'm not talking of unbelievers or ordinary people. Leaders, God will speak about the leader. See the leader. See that leader. See this church leader. You see what happens. It's even, I said, it's even better I am not a leader. Are you hearing? Because when you start with your fellow leaders in closer discussion and hear certain things, you'll be asking yourself certain questions. That's why you must live a separated life. That the leader will come and be destroying another person before another person. Telling you things you don't know. It's surprising. And before you, he laughs with you. Are you hearing that? He laughs with you. Shake out every... For where? May the Lord have mercy on us all in Jesus' name. Amen. Matthew 6. Matthew 6. Amen. I'm reading from verse 19. Lay not treasure for lay not for yourself treasures upon the earth. We are moth dot rose and corrupt, and we are thieves break through and steal. Twenty, but lay up for yourself treasures in heaven. We are neither moth nor rust dot corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. Twenty one. For where your heart is, there will for where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. 
I said, leaders do this thing because of what? Gain. Their heart is in gain. What they can gain. Not what they can put, but what they can get out. That's why many leaders are in the state they are. 22. The light of the body is the eye. If therefore the eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. Here, leaders that fall into this verse 22 are very few. Leaders who are transparent. Are you hearing me? Transparent leaders. Like see, tomorrow, nobody will lay hand accusing God of international director. Unless you are not close to him. You know that he is transparent. Like I always tell people, when you come and say, oh daddy, they have set bomb now in this whole compound. When he will tell you, be peaceful. You watch the man that told to be peaceful. The peace he has is like more than the peace he asks you to be. Not leaders who will tell you where Abraham Bule will not enter you and they wear Bule proof inside. <laughs> it's terrible, leaders. You are wearing an apron. Let shoot. And the leader have bulletproof inside. <laughs> Leadership. Leadership. May God deliver us in Jesus' name. But verse 23. But if thy eye be evil, thy whole body shall be full of darkness. If therefore the light that is in thee be darkness, how great is that darkness? Many leaders, I repeat, are in great darkness. Many leaders. Both in the Pentecostal, in the Orthodox, both in Horemon. Leaders are in great darkness. They want to have their way. As I more and more stand by the scripture against the agents of darkness, some leaders oppose it. They will tell you when somebody is there, I don't believe in this issue of witchcraft. Leaders. What, do they, what are they turning you to? They are damning your soul. If they don't believe, the scripture is not a lie. Is it not? The scripture is a lie. Leaders, they don't believe. Run for your life. Know who you are following. Always ask God. Do like Peter. When they are to replace the office of Judas, choose the two brothers, Matthias and the other man. And he says, out of these two, do that that know the heart of all men. It's God that know the heart of all men. You don't know it. And when you cry to God, he will let you to know. Watch this, people. Maybe you will see them in this government. They are here in leadership. When that one ends, they, they keep running around the table of, table of leadership. Are you hearing me? If they leave vetting committee, they are going to marriage committee. If they leave marriage committee, they are coming to seven-man committee. If they leave, they are coming to regional overseer. They know what they are doing. You understand? <laughs> the day you said, if you have served in for three, four, five years as a leader, don't nobody should uh, elect him or sub, you will see the number of leaders that will live for them all. I'm telling you. You will see the number of leaders that will live for them all. For I heard somebody said, how will I be in Horemon, how will I be in Horemon without being a leader? then there is something you are getting in leadership. Is it not? There is something you are getting in leadership. Before that word was used, there is something unknown to us which only you know they are getting in leadership. One day I know I got the Lord will lead our Father in the Lord. You people will see that program will come up, women conference, you conference, whatever. You'll be asking yourself, where is that leader? Where is that leader? Because it's only them that knows why they choose to remain in leadership. 
Praise the Lord. So I admonish you, my brethren, be careful. And you leader that is in secret, you can never be the child of God and a son to Satan. It is not possible. You will regret terribly in the last day. Leave the secret of your life. Let what you are before people be what you are behind the people. Be real. Be real. So that God will not, will not cast you away in the last day. Leadership, you know what I'm saying. Those of us who are leaders here. Let us be real. Leaders can easily lie. I remember one place I went with a brother and when she's a leader because she was in that state she was a member of the state prayer team so she's a leader and when that mother came up she called God as witness that she's not but before the end of that matter the Holy Spirit confirmed who she is she agreed but she called God as witness Leadership. Be very careful. Be very careful. They know the, those that are here who are living double life know what I'm saying. They know the cancer they give people. They know what they speak about their brothers and sisters. They know. They know. They know what they talk about all the more behind. They know what they talk about their family behind. They know. But before, daddy, 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 daddy. May God deliver our soul from leaders that are living double life in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Proverb 5. May God deliver my soul. Because from many of the messages of this ministry, um, Korah and his team, look at the number of people that they, hurt, they destroyed in hell. Isn't that so? Leadership. But they will tell you a different thing, but they have another thing in mind, which they will not tell you. They are politicians, because politicians can groom together. Let no one talk about the interests of another. The day you talk about another interest, two of you have quarreled. That's what leaders are in the house of God. They are even worse than politicians. Proverbs chapter 5, 21, please. Proverbs 5, 21, I read. For the way of man are before the eyes of the Lord, and he pondereth all his going. I want you to know, whether your life in the open is before the Lord. Your life in the secret is before the Lord. Are you hearing so? It's before him. <laughs> so, the, why is it, what was the need for me to hide? My life in the open, my life in the secret is, a, is open before the Lord. Philippians chapter 2. Quickly. Philippians 2. You will see what Paul was speaking from verse 19. But I trust in the Lord. Philippians 2 19. But I trust in the Lord Jesus to send Timothy shortly unto you that I also may be of good comfort when I know your state. Paul knows Timothy. That when he says Timothy, Timothy will not be a leader that will live a double life. Verse 20. For I have no mind like-minded who will naturally care for your state. Because I don't know other leaders. Are you hearing that? Paul did not understand. Look at verse 21. For all seek their own, not the things which are Jesus Christ. That's leadership. They are looking for their own. They want their own. They want their own to be protected. I remember that one of that may say that testimony of that person in Kenya where Jesus said, preach me. Tell people about me. If I preach only what of me, how would they know me? Is, are you seeing leader? <laughs> they want to be known. That's why any leader that is removed from leadership so nobody will see me again and go to more pulpit. Are you hearing this? <laughs> so I will not be sitting this corner again. If there is food, I will, be, I will join the general food. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm telling you.
say you. Leaders. See what Paul said there. For all might the things that are theirs, that that is Jesus, they mind it less. Leadership. Will let us be. I am saying this. Remember yesterday when daddy brought us, all of us here, there's something I said when I wanted to encourage you in uh, Genesis 19.26. Are you hearing me? Don't allow any leader to make you turn back from this course, my brethren. This course we are, this is a righteous course. It's a true course. When we continue in this course in Horemore, following the lost servant as he follows Christ, we will not end in hell. But don't allow any leader to show you another track. Do you hear me? For there are many tracks on the way. If you follow them, enter the track, you will regret it tomorrow. You don't know this track. It's the leaders that know the track. And they know how to get you off this way to follow them in this track. Leaders know. If they say they don't know, they are lying. I am a leader. Hello? I am a leader. Be very careful. Many have been removed from the track already by leadership. Do you hear? They have caused many to stumble. Not that the people wanted to stumble, but they followed the leader and got out of the way. Be very careful. The leader is doing what he's doing for his personal gain. He wouldn't tell you. He wants to remain in leadership. That he's getting. He will not want you to know it. Be very careful of leadership. In Horemon. Be very careful. I'm talking, I'm speaking to ourselves as brethren. Are you hearing me? As brethren. And leaders. Both those who are here, who are listening on the internet. You know you are living a double life. Stop. It doesn't gain. You will regret it in the last day. Because on that day, light shall reveal your secret life. The one we don't know will be exposed that day. That day it will be terrible. And another thing the Lord does in this ministry that fears me is if a leader goes home, we always say go home. Is it not? Eh? That's death now. We always say go home. Before you know it, the Lord will say, see where he is. See his new home now. <laughs> He's not in my kingdom. He's in hell. And the Lord will say, see what he did, see what he did, see what he did. Leaders. Leaders are the one. If somebody give a property to her more, they, they convert it to themselves, unknown to you. Write the agreement. You will not see the name of Holy Name Revival Movement. You will not see the name of the International Director. You will see their name. They know. <laughs> they know such a leader is he hoping to continue with this ministry no it's not leadership is a problem I pray that God will help leaders I pray that we become true for if we are true I am telling you the enemy will have no business in Horemore I'm telling you, the door as that door was in that hall in the sanctuary, nobody knew, even Ezekiel. That's how leaders open door for Satan and his agent to come in. Unknown to me and you. If I'm in that, I know. The one thing is that whatever you are, you know. Many leaders open door to what is befallen states, regions, units, and chapters in Horemon. Leadership. You know, like Pastor was uh, if a leader is sick, okay, the state will take him to hospital. He's a leader. You understand? But if an ordinary member is sick, nobody cares. Even for the leader to say, okay, go and buy him, him or her upon a door, nobody will do that. But if it's him and his family, quickly, quickly, I can't release money. We need to go to hospital. They don't care the state of their flock. 
Do you hear? I'm making mess of the flock now. Become angry. Anything leader do, they fight leader. Anything leader say, demon leader, they are loggerheads. Galatians. Let's be careful, leaders. Like I said, I'm a leader. I should be from verse 6 to 9, Galatians 6, 1 rather. I marvel that ye are soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel, which is not another, but there are some that trouble you and will pervert the gospel of Christ. There are some that trouble you, unknown to you. They will call you and be faced. A leader will call you and be faced. Again, another leader, unknown to you. And whatever you tell him that is contrary, he will stand there, not only to damn that leader, that leader doesn't know, to damn your soul. You will now be looking at that leader as an immoral person or an unrighteous man. But not, that's not what that leader is. This leader has caused that. And your state of heart is destroyed already. Amen. Verse 7. Verse 8 now. But though we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you than that which ye have preached unto you, let him be accursed. Any leader in Horemo who would curse any daughter and son of Zion to stumble. May God have mercy. Let that leader be a cost. Whoever, after what we hear, the warning we receive, the message from the pulpit, the words of encouragement, counsel of the international director, any leader that his mind is, if I'm going, I must pull some out. Let that leader be a cost. If I'm one of it, let me be a cost. If it's my wife, let her be a cost. And any little in more that will cost any daughter and son of Zion to leave Jesus, let that little be a cost. It's terrible. A lot has happened. There are brethren who were standing very fervent. Leaders take them out, show them another way. Leaders have their attention. And today, they are, not, they are neither here nor there. Jesus, they don't have. The leader, they don't have. Are you hearing me? They are so, they don't have. They are neither here nor there. Caused by leaders. Be very careful, my brethren. But I want every leader to know that you never eat your cake and have it. Are you hearing? Never. If not now, in the life to come, you'll get your reward. You will not go scot free. For many, it pains my heart. People I know who were zealous in Christ, suddenly a leader seen. The leader will not tell him or her, I'm involved in this. The leader will paint the matter to condemn this ministry. And carry those. Be very careful. I'm telling you. Be very careful. So that you don't regret and say, if I had known, I wouldn't have done what I did. May the Lord have mercy on his church in Jesus' name. Amen. Be very careful, my brethren. Because leaders have failed. If you are here, you know that you are partial as a leader. That's, you are living a double life. Live partiality. Be just. Treat everybody equal. Don't treat anybody and some. Uh -uh. That you do to A, do to B. Not that A is obedient to you because B is not obedient. When they get to B, you say, no, leave it first. Use the word, leave it first. And it remains there. Nobody will attend to it. Let's be very careful in the name of Jesus. Another thing I wanted to know because 
Let's go to the Bible again. Second Timothy. Second Timothy. I'm going to read verse 4, 7, and 8. Let me tell you. When Paul wrote that Demas has left having loved this present world, was Demas a good leader or a wrong leader? Demas was living a double life. Do you know? Demas was living a double life. And when his cup was full, he could no longer continue. Second Timothy 4, verse 7, I read. I have fought a good fight, Paul was speaking. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. If a leader is living a double life, will he fight a good fight? Will he finish his course? Will he keep the faith? And all he's deceiving, would they not be in the same state with him? That's why Demas did not finish his course. Do we know that? Do we know? Demas did not finish his course. Demas did not fight a good fight. He did not keep the faith. Because of double life. Paul was bold to talk about this because Paul lived one life. See, if you're a leader and you're living double life, know very well assuredly that you will not finish your course. You will not fight a good fight. Your fight will be a bad fight. <laughs> if there is good fight, there is bad fight. Is it not? If there is good fight, there is bad fight. If there is keeping faith, there are those who are not keeping faith. If there are those that finish course, there are those who did not finish course. Simple. Double life of leaders. Living a life, secret life in the dark and living another life in the open. I pray that God will help each and every one of us that we will not be damned by the secret life of leaders in the name of Jesus Christ. Because it's much. It's much upon leaders. All what they do is for gain and nothing more. Are they full time members in order more for gain? Are they denominational pastors? For gain. Whatever they are, leaders do everything for gain and nothing more. They do it for gain. They don't care. Philippians chapter 3, verse 17. Brethren, be followers together of me and mark them which walk so as ye have us for an example. For many, for many work of whom I have told you often, and now tell you, even weeping, that they are the enemies of the cross of Christ. For any leader that has double life, another life in the public, another life in the secret, is an enemy of the cross of Christ. Verse 18, 19 rather. Whose end is destruction? Whose God is their belly? Whose glory is in their shame? Who mind earthly things? All is for gain. They want to build a house. They want to buy a car. They want to do this. They want to. All is for gain. Mark such leaders. And be careful with them. So that you will not cry had I no. Nobody used that word at the beginning. It's when all is lost. You hear had I no. I will not, I will not have lived a double life. Leadership. I wouldn't forget one kindness our father in the Lord did many years ago when we went for a meeting, not now. And as food was being served, the person served him and were serving us. Daddy looked at his food 
and look at the food of the next person to him and call the person serving the food. Why is this one not like my own? I'm telling you. I'm not, I'm not saying them say, I was there. Carry it. If everybody own will not be like this, let everybody own be like this. That's a leader. Are you hearing? I love Pastor Rica. That's a leader. To the person serving, you, know, you don't blame, you understand? You understand? But a true leader said, why is my food different from my brethren? That you gave me, give it to them. If it's not there, let all of us eat this kind one. That's a good leader. When, that, when you meet such a leader, don't lose them. Are you hearing me? You will end well. You will end well. But those that will see that and pretend as if they did not see what was given to their brother, run from them. They are for their own. They are not for you. As you like, do yourself. May God deliver us from double life leaders in Jesus' name. Amen. May the Lord not allow double life leaders to have their way in our life in the name of Jesus. Amen. May God help us with wisdom to know whom we are following, who our leader is. And may God make us to be obedient. Another thing is more obedient. You will not discover who your leader is and become violent and disobedient. That you have gone out of the contest. Are you hearing, sir? You have gone out of the contest. The one you cannot bear, you talk to him, he didn't take, report him to a higher, report him to a higher leader. It's not a sin. <laughs> a leader that can make him humble himself in Jesus' name. Corinthians, First Corinthians six fifteen. First Corinthians six fifteen. Know you know that your bodies are the members of Christ. Shall I then take the member of Christ and make them the member of an harlot? God forbid. In this area also, there are many marriages people have entered. Leaders did not follow the standard laid down for them to follow. And now, either the brother or the sister is regretting and they have entered already. Do you hear that? That's why you must be very careful. Amen. 16. What know you not? Know ye not that ye, he which is joined to an hallowed is one body. For two said, for two said he shall be one flesh. Which we're supposed to be one. He's talking about those who are involved in fornication. But as children of God, like I always tell people, we are better together. Because we are children of one father. There are no two fathers. We have one father. And whoever we want to divert you, your attention, it's just like when somebody is joining himself to a harlot. And see that you don't take that which he's trying to do to you. Be very careful. But he that is joined unto the Lord is one spirit. Any leader that is doing all he can for you to live righteous, live holy, love, be peaceful, making you to know when you do something by the saying, no, don't do like this, don't go there, don't go that way, don't go that way, hold that leader. But those that will allow you to behave the way you want to behave, be very careful. May God once more deliver us from the hand of bad leaders in the name of Jesus Christ. May God deliver us. Finally, Matthew, Matthew 5. I'm reading from verse 13. Ye are the salt of the earth, but if the sun have lost its savour, where we shall it be salted? It is, it is thenceforth good for nothing, but to be cast out and to be trodden under the foot of men. If you're a leader, you live double life. Know that you have lost your saltness. Are you hearing me? 
and the day the Lord will announce you, you'll be trodden now by foot of man. We don't like candle and putting under a bush here. On a candle stand, so they give a light to the people. If people, you are, if you are leading people, they don't understand your life. Check yourself as a leader. If your members cannot say no, I know my leader here. I know my leader here. Something is wrong. Are you hearing? Something is wrong. That means you are dark. You have lost your saltness, and you should be trodden under the foot of men. A leader is supposed to be a, a good fruit. A leader is supposed to be a good tree. Are you hearing me? Bearing good fruit. When a leader is bearing evil fruit, every smart in anger. If he's talking, he talks in anger. He responds in anger. At times you hear his voice on phone. It's like, I don't know. It's like he's calling with somebody. On phone, oh, not that he's seeing that person. Some leaders are like lion. You know lion? Do you know lion? Do you know that lion is always angry? Even when he's walking alone in the bush, no prey to catch. You hear? <laughs> lion. And that's why he has a short lifespan. Do you know lion have a short lifespan? Eh? Eh? Go and do the study. Lion has a very short lifespan. Because every time lion is exhibiting anger. Every time. Just why he's the king of animals. Every time. I said he will report himself that I'm in the bush. You understand? Because you keep hearing. You know an angry man. That's how an angry man breathes. Is it not? Every time. That's the lion's life. I always use this analogy of lion and tortoise. And thought is one of the animals that have the longest lifespan. Are you hearing me? Because you don't know that thought is around. <laughs> you don't know. When he discovers, even discovers the food, when lion is coming, <laughs> thought is, ah, let me enter my house. So. Right. He will go and hide himself. The lion will do <laughs> and leave. Thought is, will bring his head out. No more noise. And continue his journey. That's how some leaders are. May God deliver us. And may God help us leaders. That we will be real. I keep saying this. The life of our father in the Lord. Is a letter to me. And I know to many of us. His calm life. Do you know that? His calmness. His peaceful life. It's a lesson to us all. Unless we are not following. Unless we are not learning. But many of us, I keep saying this under him, are lions. We are always having issues here and there. Either with the people we are leading, or with our wife, or with our friend, or with our colleagues. We are always having issues. May the Lord deliver us and may the Lord peace rule our heart in Jesus' name. Shall we be on our feet? I want you to lift up yourself to God and ask God, wherever you have listened to a leader that have caused you to be in the state you are, that God should have mercy on you. Shall we open our mouth and pray and ask God for mercy over our, over, over our life in following leadership? And those who are leaders, pray also and ask God, let leadership not take my soul to hell. Let leadership not damn my life. Let leadership not make me miss heaven. Talk to God. Open your mind and pray. Leaders, pray for yourself. That God will have mercy. That you will not be drunken with leadership and damn your soul. And you also, if you know what a leader has done to you, that it had made you to be stumbling. You are no longer what you are. As at the time of your salvation, you come to this ministry. Ask God to have mercy on you and deliver you from the hand of wicked leaders. I turn them as wicked leaders. That that will know the road and show somebody, see another corner. Or go to back to talk to you. 
another thing you don't know and will give you reasons give you instances that, that are not real open isolated scriptures to confuse you and you began to follow that pray for yourself that god should have mercy on you also pray for yourself that may leader no leader should take you out of the, the cause of Christ out of the internal track for many have been removed from the internal race by leaders pray for yourself ask God to have mercy may God have mercy but have mercy on me may I not be destroyed because of leadership and may I know all are leading you astray because judgment is, was given on me please my lord and my god deliver my soul from the hand of leaders pray for leadership in Horemo that we will be like our father in the lord whatever seed the devil is throwing on leaders let that seed be destroyed of the leaders that we leaders shall be real and true be like our father pray for leaders you are state overseer, other overseers, regional overseer, chapter unit leaders. Pray for leaders. Now God should help leaders in world about to be like our father in the Lord. So that we will not, after serving this, and say, had I know, I'm regretting hell. Father, deliver leadership. Have mercy on us leaders. That we will not, because of leadership, miss your kingdom. Have mercy on us leaders, O Lord. Have mercy on every leader. Cause us to be like our Father in the Lord. That we will follow Him with our heart as He is following Christ. So that we will not regret in the last day. Deliver our soul. Deliver the soul of leaders. Deliver the soul of leaders. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray that you help leaders in Horemon. Guide us leaders in Horemon. Cause us to follow our Father in the Lord as He follow Christ in the name of Jesus. May we not be leaders and miss your kingdom. May leadership not take us out of your internal race. In Jesus' name we pray.